All right, guys. So today we are back on this zero zone. I quoted a condensate drain line heater for it, and we're going to be installing it. I just want to give you a quick preview of what we're dealing with here. This blue wire right here, this is my constant power for my evaporator fans. Um, I'm going to tap into that right down there. I'm going to kind of show you why real quick. It's just silicone in place right there, and I don't want to go through drilling new holes when I have a, a wire right here I can just tap into for power for that defrost heater. So, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down there. i got plenty of slack in this wire down there uh, where our defrost drain line heater will go. Like I said, I can just tap into it, and we can be done. Alright, as you remember, there's my heater, and we are going to be installing it right in there. Uh, I already double checked, we're pretty much clear, there's a little bit of ice in the bottom of that, but I'm going to clear that out as well, and we are going to cut this blue line, tap into that, and we will be good to go. Um, I want it to be heating up anytime I'm in cool mode, so um, this will be the perfect way to do that. All right, let me get her set up. All right, so first get in here. First get some of this wiring. Make sure stick my whole head in here. I'm gonna try to cut it so I can resecure it back around this motor mount if possible. Now, if you remember from the previous video, I did quote a condensate drain pump for this unit. The customer, however, decided not to go with that quote. Um, they'll probably do that at another time. All right, here's our connection where our heater initially connected to my incoming power source. Wires are secured all along our incoming power line. Where they come over here and then our heater goes down into the drain. Now what I'm gonna do first 
is before I wrap everything up, I'm gonna just get a quick amp draw of this heater. Our unit's powered back on. We're just waiting for our evaporator fans to kick on. Now, I got my flashlight kind of holding up this evaporator panel so we don't have that fan smashing into our dryer. Now, it might take a few minutes for this thing to actually kick on because we have to wait for our fan delay switch to satisfy because our coil is just a little too warm right now. As you can see, our evaporator fan's turned on. And we got about 0 0.5 amps on our condensate heater. Keep in mind, it is just a little tiny heater, so it's not gonna it's not gonna pull a whole lot of amps. So, all right, let's wrap this up. So, I just wanted to point this out real quick. Once you get this condensate heater installed, make sure that the wires are secured in a way that it's not gonna get caught up in your fan blade. I don't know if you can see that very well back there, but. I got about four or five inches of clearance behind this fan blade, so we shouldn't have any further issues with this. All right, we got our unit reassembled, back together as you can tell. And we are dropping temp, down to 11 right now. I'm gonna stick around, make sure we get down to at least zero, but looks like we are all set on this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.